So there's a massive withdrawal from the Izu army. The over 29 generals have withdrawn uh, because they can no longer handle the level of heat that is coming from the Biafran army and from the Biafran land. You can't come to Biafra and you claim you are protecting Biafrans yet secretly you are starting Biafrans, dealing with them and equally, you know, um, uh, stopping them from their daily activities. Not just that, they are opening doors for Fulani terrorists to invade Biafran land. There was a news I saw, but I, I didn't go back to that news, where Fulani terrorists attacked Enugu state or so. And uh, they are using Enugu as their training ground because the Enugu former governor and the present governor has already granted them, uh, you know, allowance to come in and uh, do their business. So from doing their business and equally giving them big lands, they have now used it to, you know, enable to send the Biafra. But of course, you don't expect the Biafra army to be everywhere as long as they're not, con we're not yet a country. Uh, the Biafra army is actually trying to uh, be everywhere at every moment, but it's not possible because the numbers are not there. Even Nigeria is a country cannot even do what the Biafran army are doing. Hmm. Let's get this point very straight and fact, you know, as we are in line with the connection and the constitution of what it is, 29 generals have just withdrawn from its actual feelings. It has to be a well-pointed fact. It has to be a process that one must engage into proclaiming, dividing, and fixing what truly matters. You see, along the line, we are going to continue to spread this very information towards the very end of it all. Yeah. One may say, victories upon victories, words upon words, declaration upon declaration, and everything will start making sense. So, they should keep running. You can see that time whenever everyone reacted to it, he said, why are they running? Please come to Biafra and fight to keep Nigeria retirement. And some of these soldiers, I don't understand. You're fighting for a country that does not want you, that does not love you. They have protecting their selfish interests. By the time you their children are abroad, but I don't know why an African man's heart is hardened. Hardened to doing evil. Hardened. But somehow you are convincing yourself that this is not the truth. The politicians which who are sending you are allocating billions of dollars to their children millions of dollars to their children what happened they will send you they won't even pay your salary yes they got a boy working i know that some of you the moment they will handle no you guys cross the other side you say hi what a big mistake that that's the reality will just fall on you that they won't work well on you will go on your other back as you go on the now one of the SCP and then we beg you see what we But just know that your friend and me is working. You see, the truth will continue to supersede lies. I don't know how you want to say it, but I want to know. It's not good for you. I'm going to be afraid you're going to be a good one. Because. From the bottom of our hearts, we will continue to, you know, despite on several occasions, it has to do with 
the healing and the dealing with the different struggle. You see, what matters more now is that exceptionally, like one a big fight. That's the actual sense. That's the actual sense. Now, big tears as history is about to repeat itself again. The zoo is now feeling what we ourselves have been feeling for a very long time. Because after lying to you all that uh, one way or the other, that your, your president is healthy and strong to work for your country. <laughs> your president is already about to join his ancestors. This is the same mistake that Nigerians will keep making. And that's why Nigeria can't get better. It's because of tribalism, you vote in somebody who is not even healthy. And the person, they will use him to be signing contracts up and down. That was the same thing that affected houses for the first time. Can't you people learn from the Igbo people? An Igbo man does not, does not, I will never condone job injustice. It doesn't matter how much you want to give him. I will tell you that Akaya Adolea. Okay, so Akaya Adolea. No matter how you want to twist the whole narration. Okay, so Akaya Adolea. And again and again and again and again and again. Most of them will be thinking that. Eh, Utekeerie. Utekeerie. People, people are going down on daily basis. Hunger is striking the zoo. Now he has become your president. He doesn't even have the strength to rule your country. <laughs> hey, after four years, I don't know where they used to go and renew their power that will last them for just maybe two months. They will go there and renew it. The exposition has been made. This was the warning that came before any of you. You do not fight Biafra. The Biafran spirit is very strong. It's stronger than you. It's stronger than whoever sent you. It's stronger than everybody. That is why you have to be conscious when you are trading the Biafran spirit. Because BAM! Okay, we are heading towards victory. And our words must be final. Time has come and the hour has come. Those who fight against Biafra are going down. <laughs>